I'm also going to need some money to recover after that because it was very traumatic for me. Or if that shakedown doesn't work, it turns in a couple of months. Well, I lost the baby. A few moments later. All the stress that's been going on for the past month, it caused me a lot of emotional damage. And I've been starting feeling a lot of panic and like, like it's just like a lot of going on. Oh, and I'm out here doing some late night shooting. I am not finna fucking play with y'all. <laughs> we outside. Is the sheep preaching hate? He says, I'm not gonna let the wolf eat me anymore. If the wolf comes in here, next time he comes in here, I'll do whatever I have to do to keep him off my back. Is the sheep violent or is the wolf violent? He wasn't teaching hate, he was teaching common sense. You know, somebody's knocking him over the head, stop him. Do whatever you have to do to stop him. You know, the, the ones that were knocking him over the head were afraid of, him, of the fact that he might swing back. So they said, no, he's teaching hate, he's violent. What's up, y'all? And welcome back to another episode of the War Sheep Podcast, where today we're going to be talking about the whole situation with Fresh and Fit. You know, the whole situation that everybody really been talking about situation that kind of tarnished their reputation man because he fucked off and uh shot the club but with some with some um instagram or whatever thought thought of thought or whatever she is you know uh pay for hire whatever yeah he, he went and shot the club but honestly fresh you should have known that shit was gonna come man it, it, it wasn't no avoiding that but mm -hmm. seems like bro dodged a bullet because word is that she either deleted it or she was lying about it from the jump Especially females like her who believe that just because she's maybe attractive after having a few surgeries or get some work done, that she, that she should be handed shit on a silver platter. Now nah, I'm talking shit. Let's go ahead and get into this video. As you guys know that I've been pregnant since uh, uh, March 1st. I've shown you all the receipts. I mean, there's no way I can fake it. And it's also there's a document about doctor's announcement. So as you know, that's no way I can fake it. So I swear to my family that the pregnancy is true and the baby is fresh. It's his baby, okay? Um, because all the stress that's been going on for the past month, it caused me a lot of emotional damage. And I've been starting feeling a lot of panic and like, like it's just like a lot of going on. Like, oh. Um, you know, every time I'm public, I'm just trying to get myself together and try trying to be positive and to show you guys and show other women like a good example that we are strong. Even though we are going through some kind of situation in life, life is not always perfect. So no matter what, we have to be strong. I have to be out there for myself mind you this was all brought on by her ma'am you made it public they didn't make it public you made it public you outed him now you're talking about emotional distress while grabbing and clutching your head ma'am this is self-inflicted you could have kept it quiet and handle it behind scenes. See, there's a such thing as a court-ordered paternity test. But you went to straight to child support payments and keeping him out of the child's life after he wanted the A. Oh, this is right out the playbook. Yeah, so um, I'm not going to be able to keep the baby. Um, I know there's a lot of boys been talking about um, she's been baby trapping She's planning the whole story. You know, there's no reason if, like, if I want to baby trap him, why would I decide not to keep the baby? Because I actually plan the baby with him. Do you guys understand? I've been taking a lot of supplements since since January. Oh, okay? this is crazy. Since January, like the day I went back to China, I told all my friends I'm not going to, because I'm not, I'm a social drinker. I don't like alcohol. I used to do bodybuilding. Alcohol is just not my hobby. So um, I've been planning to keep myself healthy, you know, taking supplements in order to get pregnant, in order to plan our baby with Walter, Walter Weeks. 
So Ashley manifested this baby. Oh! And God gave me the baby. So can you imagine? I was very emotional when I had a video call with him, when I had a voice call with him. I was actually very emotional because God actually gave me the baby. God gave me what I want. Of course, I wasn't going to like kill it. I'm not going to kill my baby because I planned the baby with him. But it's just everything, like after everything's going on, like really, like I just, I, I don't, I'm not going to be a single mother. What she's calling out here is the public perception of this entire situation, which is something that I've been calling out from the beginning. And it's actually what Destiny called out from the beginning as well, that this was a whole baby trap. But what's interesting is that on the Fresh and Fit podcast, remember when they had that lawyer come out? The lawyer called out her exact game plan right here. I mean, come on now. Fresh dash huge bullet. I don't know, you know, she, she might have decided to delete it or like she said, or the stress, so much stress and turmoil has forced her to delete the baby on the in internally I, I mean honestly maybe it could happen but honestly tell you the truth i've known women who smoke crack in the baby still you know which came out just fine so i mean for the l attorney to have predicted what she may have been saying and then she comes back and says it not long after i believe that you know things the stress has gotten to her that the attorney was saying like hey man we can go ahead and she could be sued for everything that she is worth as opposed to her getting gaining from this whole situation is the reason why she folded is the reason why she went ahead and gave in and the reason why she gave up and wants to back off and back out of this whole thing but this is even more of a reason why that you fellas should be very careful as to who you're dealing with how you're dealing with them and what level you're dealing with them on you need, you need to have some real riders in your corner but well, she's not willing to ride with you she's not willing to go through the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations to help you build. Women are expendable unless they make themselves value. Hey, I appreciate you guys joining me here for the What You Podcast today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow your boy for more of this content. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one. All right, peace. Shalom.